this chapter, we are going to talk about a very convenient tool called the rulers. On your toolbar to the left, you will find a little triangle that's towards the bottom of the toolbar. Let's click on that. You will find a list of different rulers under the subtool palette. The linear ruler, curve ruler, figure ruler, ruler pen, special rulers, guide, perspective ruler, and symmetrical ruler. The rulers are, as the name suggests, they are tools to help you draw perfect shapes or perfect lines, much like how you would use rulers in real life. For example, let's take a look at the special ruler. One of my favorites to use is concentric circle. If you click on the drop down menu, you will see a lot of different ones such as parallel line, parallel curve, etc. But for the demo purpose, let's look at concentric circle because circles are hard to draw. So let's start a circle and expand it to the shape that we want, release it, and then you can see the rotation. Double click to set it. Now you can use your pen and start drawing the perfect oval. And this definitely isn't because I'm super trained. It's just a tool. Very convenient, isn't it? Now, if at any point you don't want to follow the ruler anymore, you can simply go to the top and disable snap to special ruler. And now I can freely draw on here. If I want to draw it again, I can simply reselect it and do that. Very convenient, isn't it? The next one I want to show you is the symmetrical ruler. Let's go back to the ruler tool and select symmetrical ruler. Before we do that, let's hide the current layer by clicking on the eye icon to the left of your layer. And start a new layer by clicking on new raster layer. Now under the symmetrical ruler, you can see the number of lines or number of sections. If I am to increase this, let's see how many, let's say six. All I need to do is to click and drag the line. This will automatically create six different lines that will mirror the drawing. And all I need to do now is use the pen tool and we can start drawing. You can use this to really quickly design a magic spell or some patterns. Very convenient, right? We're going to hide this layer again. The next one I want to show you, we want to create a new vector layer instead. So click this icon that says new vector layer. So from here, let's go to the ruler tool and let's select the perspective ruler. Now we're actually not going to use this at all because the perspective ruler within the ruler tool is actually a little bit more complicated and a little bit more advanced. So I don't want to cover them in this video. We're going to cheat a little bit by going to the top layer menu. Ruler frame and create perspective ruler. And from this menu, we will select the two points perspective and disable the create new layer. With this disable, the ruler will be created right on the vector layer that we just added. And we just hit OK. So you can see that there is a horizon line, two vanishing point, and a center line. We will use the pen tool again and just quickly draw a building. And you can see that the lines that I'm putting down are following the perspective that I just laid down. And the reason why we wanted to use the vector layer is because you can use this to quickly clean up all of the intersection of the lines that we just overshoot. 
So just like that, we have created nice buildings really quickly. And that's it for this video. There are a ton of different rulers to play with and if you want to look into all of them, it's really, really nice and you, they can really help speed things up for you. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.